Hello, Nansen Explorers. Today we're going to look at Chainlink's link token uh, and specifically how the link token has been used in the Aave protocol. Um, we're going to start in the token god mode, which I've done a separate video on. Um, essentially, I've selected link as one of the tokens and I can scroll down and I can look at all these different stats for link, but specifically, I could look at the balance changes over the last seven days for different wallets. Here are the top addresses that have been sending out wallets in the last seven days. Interestingly, the Chainlink team uh, is one of them. You can also flip it around and you can see which addresses have received the most link tokens. And I noticed that Aave is one of the top accumulators of link tokens. And so this is the lending pool core contract um, because of this little robot here I can tell that this is a contract um, and so what we can do is click this ether scan link over here and that's going to show you your familiar address view um, for this specific address or this contract and so you could look at you know the ERC20 uh, token transactions and this is the lending pool core uh, contract that's labeled on Etherscan as well in this case. Um, but this is kind of granular. It's not that hard to read. Uh, it's not that easy to read. So instead, we're going to go back into Nansen. We're going to bring along the address. So I'm going to copy that address up here. Then I'm going to go to Nansen again. You can go to pro.nansen.ai if you have an account. If you don't have an account, you can go to nonsense.ai and sign up for a trial. And then we're going to dive into this dashboard called Wallet Profiler for Token. And so the idea with this dashboard is that we can input an address. In this case, we're going to input the um, Aave Lending Pool Core. And then you can, you can see here, it actually already showed the label uh, for that address. And then again, you can select a token. And so what this will give us is kind of an overview of how this address has been receiving or sending this specific token. And so this is going to load some stats. So for example, we can see that it first received tokens on January 8th, 2020, around 8 uh, p.m. UTC. Uh, also, we can see that it has about 7.6 million link tokens uh, in its balance. And so we could actually just jump over to Aave and confirm that this is correct. So, okay, got it. I don't have a wallet. That's fine. I want to continue without a wallet. And so we can look at these different markets. Now we're going to look at Chainlink, and it says here, available liquidity, 7.6 million link tokens. So if you jump back, you can see that's pretty much the same number. In fact, it's exactly the same number. So that's the balance of link tokens in this contract. And the cool thing is you can also see how this balance has changed over time. So you can see the influx of link tokens to the Aave um, protocol just by looking at their contract address and selecting the specific token. Then another cool thing you can do is you can see what are the largest transactions that either went into this contract or went out of it. And in the case that we have labels in Nansen, we're going to show those to you as well. So this is effectively showing from a transaction that came from a specific wallet, in this case it's unlabeled, and it went into this address. So this is half a million link tokens. It came from some wallet that we don't know much about, but you can you know, click this link and you'll see the actual address on Etherscan if you wanna dig down there and, and understand that. But some of these you can actually see. Uh, interestingly, we have someone here who has an Argent wallet. And so this is, the name is pulled out directly from the blockchain through ENS names. And so this is someone who has an Argent wallet and has deposited 
quite a lot of link tokens into the Aave pool. You can also click through this. So again, this is sorted by size. It's not sorted chronologically. Um, and so that's the idea there is to basically surface the large transactions which you might be interested in. And so there's a lot of DEX traders here, some medium DEX traders. That means they've traded uh, more than 10, but less than 500 trades. And some heavy DEX traders, which means they've traded more than 500 times on a DEX. Um, and, you know, as you click through this, you can actually see some ENS names here. So these are people who have bought ENS names with these wallets. And that might give you an indication of who is behind this wallet. Um, and so, yeah, it's quite interesting to see this because you can see a bit more about who are the actual users um, of Aave and in particular, who are the contributors of link tokens. So just to recap quickly, how do we get there? We basically use token god mode to input link. And then we just scroll down and look at some of these stats and notice that Aave was one of the main addresses that has been receiving link tokens. And so we jumped into Etherscan and we just grabbed the address and then we went back into Nansen here and we went to the wallet profiler, which you can also search for just by writing wallet profiler, hitting enter and you should find it. And we input the address, we select the token and you get all these nice stats about the usage of link tokens uh, for this specific contract. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.